When you're new to raising chickens, knowing how to handle these birds might be a little bit intimidating at first. So in this lesson, I hope to show you a couple ways to hold your chickens that'll make it less scary for you, and also show you just how gentle and wonderful these birds can be. Now for a very calm bird like my Rhode Island Red here, all you really need to do is support her legs and her belly, and usually they'll be pretty content to be in your hands. Right now I have her legs kind of suspended. I find that this keeps her secure, but not flapping around. Now I'll bring out a more uh, flighty bird in a little bit and you'll see the difference with them. But you see while I'm holding her, I'm just staying calm, stroking her waddles and her head. She kind of enjoys that. Of course, this is one of my most calm birds. So I handle her a lot. We have a good time together. Now, if you have a bird that's a little bit more flighty, a little bit less calm, or just doesn't like being handled, here's a little bit of a different way to hold them. This Wyandotte is <laughs> pretty excitable and she doesn't like me picking her up that much. So when I picked her up, I've got her legs in one hand, as you can see, but I have her wings held securely against my body, almost like a football. I'm not a football player, but you see the idea. This helps keep her from freaking out and flapping her wings and making a scene. She's still secure, but I have her a little bit more closely guarded so that nothing can get loose. I can still get one hand free if I really needed to, but this way she's held more secure, and that way I can help take care of her without her losing her calm, and eventually she's actually calming down. Now there's something about chickens you might not know, but it's very useful if you need to dust them for lice or inspect them, or if you have a very flighty bird that just will not calm down. And it's the secret that if you hang a chicken by her legs, they kind of go into a trance. I'll show you. You ready? There we go. And now she's ready for anything. If I needed to dust her for mites, if I needed to help her loosen up a, a crop that was impacted, or if I needed to check her and she just wouldn't calm down, this is a great way to calm down your birds. It's not hurting her at all. She has very strong legs and <laughs> she's still there. As soon as I flip her around, she'll get back to normal and I'm gonna do that right now. Welcome back. I should note, if you've hung a chicken upside down to calm her down, make sure you only do it for as long as necessary. Make sure you put her upright as soon as possible. It shouldn't harm the chicken if you need to do it for a minute or so to dust her or to check her for lice. But if you hold her upside down for too long, especially if her crop is full, her crop might actually cut off her breathing. So make sure you only hang a chicken upside down when absolutely necessary and be sure to give her time to recover. Though the spur of the rooster is really the only part of a chicken that could do you great physical harm, you may have noticed the other low-key threat that a chicken poses. These birds peck things that interest them. Now a mammal may sniff something curiously, but a bird often gives an exploratory jab with its beak to understand something new. This is no problem most of the time, as chickens employ that beak to great effect as they uncover worms and grubs from the underbrush. But when a bird is held close to you, a whole new world of weird and new peckables is suddenly available for them to explore. Shiny things in particular grab their fancy and humans are covered with them. Buttons, earrings, watches, wedding rings, necklaces, all of it is irresistible. So when handling chickens, take away as many shiny things as you can to take out the risk of having an earring ripped out or a wedding ring stone flipped into the leaves. And be careful about the most sensitive shiny thing of them all, eyeballs. Now, most adults naturally hold chickens far enough away from their faces that this isn't a problem, but children are another story. Small kids have shiny eyes that are often right at chicken height, and they're often not aware of where they are in relation to a bird. Keep an eye out for curious children with curious chickens. Getting an eye pecked is really not a great way to make kids want to help out with the farm chores. A good thing to remember when you're handling your birds is that they kind of pick up on what kind of mood you're in. So if you are out of control and you're not keeping your cool, they'll know they'll probably pick up on some of that stress inside you and they'll react accordingly and usually be a little bit harder to manage. You need to stay calm, move around your birds with self-control, and most of the time, it'll go, things will go fine. If you find that they're starting to freak out and you're starting to get really frustrated, take a break. Take a step away from the coop, whatever you're doing, close the door, come back in five minutes when you're more calm, I guarantee you'll have an easier time with your birds.